little Alfie, the terrorist. He was once called Kibber, wasn't he? He was. Four years ago. And would your dream have been to be able to walk Alfie along a busy beach? Would you have imagined that it could have happened? No. No. Especially not with, you know, bicycles going by and dogs on the knee and people running around. Oh, definitely not. No. What would he have done? He would have barked, snarled, growled, attacked, anything. He could get his paws onto the keyword. Yeah, so he didn't really come places like this, did he? Nope. We've got a bike coming along as well. And he said, well, look at it, but he's not bothered, he's aware of it. He's, no, he's more interested in the people walking by. He's just interested. Yes. And how did we do it? Games-based training. Games-based training. And yeah, because when I first met him, he was the merchant of doom. You'd only have to step out the foot outside the house and he would think the whole world was out to kill him. And he would be scraping his feet, being really stressed, really tense. So what we did was just started teaching him games. First of all, around the house and around the garden. And just building up his confidence and his expectations. And eventually, we changed his whole view of life. Everything that he once thought was bad has now become something super exciting and super good. He even almost made the Welsh team at Cross, didn't he, this year? But um, not to be, because he was limping quite badly that day. But um, maybe if it ever happens again, he can go some other time. But just look, busy people, bikes going past. And here's Alfie, who's not killer, now loves life. And he's a real optimist. Well done, Alfie.